nearly four months after the December 16th gang rape, a similar horrific incident has rocked the national capital. A toddler, all of five, who went missing for five days, is found raped. Tortured, her private parts mutilated. Doctors say the next 48 hours will be crucial for the child. For the Delhi police, clearly there has been no lessons learned. The family alleges that the police not only refused to file an FIR, but also pressurized them to hush up the case. When I went to the FIR, I told them that they would take their hands and get 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 their hands. The police have identified the absconding accused who happens to be a neighbour of the family. A case of kidnapping, rape and unnatural sex has been lodged even as a defensive police force denied that there was any delay in action. Well, so far we have been able to identify uh, the suspect and we are falling in, uh, in hot pursuit uh, and trying to apprehend him as early as possible. Meanwhile, outside the Dayanand hospital, Things turned ugly as Aam Aadmi Party members heckled area MP Sandeep Dikshit and Health Minister A.K. Valia when they visited the victim. The police came under further fire after an ACP slapped a lady protester. The officer uh, seen in the picture slapping the woman officer ACP Bani Singh Alawat, ACP Khajuri Khas has been placed under suspension and the departmental inquiry has been ordered against him. Despite crows being spent on the Nirbhaya fund and the anti-rape ordinance being passed, instances of atrocities against women continue unabated in the national capital. Even though the police denies all allegations of laxity and insensitivity on its part, the Delhi police will have to answer some tough questions as to how a minor was being assaulted right below her house for four days. With Vijay Raju Khatri in New Delhi, Minakshi Upreti.